Okay, so up until now, users have access to any page in our application they want. And that is okay, but we don't want non-logged in users to have access to stuff like pages and create page. Okay, so in this video, let's see how we can block users who are not logged in from doing anything that could potentially change data in our application. All right, so let's head over to our text editor. So I'm going to come to um, the functions.php uh, file here. I'm going to add a function called um, block page, right? So anytime that is called in a page, it's going to block that page if uh, the user is not logged in. Okay, so let's say function block page. And the function body will say start session. And then right after starting the session, let's do a check if um, is set session dollar, um, dollar score. And then ID. So if that is uh, set, sorry, not set, um, that is. So if the ID is not set on the um, session variable, that means the user isn't logged in. Because if you remember, um, we have to set the ID when we log in the user. We want to redirect them, force them to the login page. So let's say location by calling, um, giving that as a string in the header function. And then uh, semicolon for slash index PHP. And then we want to pass in our um, query string of message and the message will say you don't have access to that page please log in okay so we'll separate that all right and i'll just bring it to the next page so it looks much nicer all right so we're gonna have to um, call this function on the top of uh, the pages we want to block and one such page is adding a page right so right at the top of this page I want to say um, block page okay so just paste it right after the functions here because you do not want to call the location when you have required um, some text already so let's call block page right after we've required the function all right so I'm just gonna call it here so let's test that out so let's go to um, pages here. So I'm going to come to create page. As you can see, um, we have an error. It says a header may not contain more than a single header new line detected on line 174. Okay. So let's see what the problem is. So inside of functions.php says, um, all right. So let me just remove this white space here. And we try that out once more. So I'm going to go to create page here. So now as you can see, it says you don't have access to that page right but um we're not displaying the error message here so let's sort that out so i'm gonna come to um other pages and call that function there so let's go to um our add dot php here and i'm just gonna copy this line i'm going to go to all the other pages we want to block so next we want to block the edit um page page right after functions i'll just paste that there so let's go to the listing of pages as well so i'm gonna come here and block that so finally let's go to process add as well right after functions paste that there and process edit okay because a user can just uh, create a script that just sends um, some post variables to these pages here and they can still create or um, add pages so next let's go to the header.php let's add in a line there that just shows the error um, anytime that we redirected or blocked from accessing a page will be shown that error okay so let's call a function and then we're gonna write that implement that function so inside of container here what i'm gonna do i'm gonna create another div and then in there i'm gonna call a function call um return page message so return page message okay so i'm gonna close that and um that will um return us a string so we're gonna have to echo it so next let's go to um sorry about that guys let's go to our functions.php and implement that function there so basically that function what it's going to do is it's going to check the query um, parameters if you realize this page here we have a query param called message so it's going to check whether that exists and then outputs that as an error okay so first let's say um info string just um, put that as an empty string it's equals to empty string so let's say if it's set um, 
dollar underscore get and then message so if the message query param is set we want to check if it is an array if it's array that is um, dollar underscore get message we want to loop over it and then keep appending um, each of the items in there to this string so let's say for each and um, what do we want to loop over dollar underscore get message as message so we want to say um, info string dot equal to and then we just want to put in a p tag there a paragraph tag that is and in there we want to put a span with a class of label danger okay so that will um, call that as red the text that is so class equal to label and then label danger okay so let's just close um, the span tag and inside of the span we want to output um, the message okay so else if it is not an array we just want to um, say info um, info string is equal to um, just one span tag and dollar underscore uh, message sorry let's just rectify this should be dollar underscore get so instead of message here we want to say dollar underscore get and then message so that will be interpreted we're using this curly braces so that anything in there will be interpreted and not output as it is okay so instead of doing this let's make it nicer and say message equals to um, this and then we're gonna put message in here okay so that looks much nicer on the eyes so now let's go to here and let's refresh that and um, still it's not um, outputting the error messages because we did not return info string okay so let's refresh that as you can see you don't have access to that page please log in so that works fine but um let's just change um the location of this um, error output here let's come to our header here and i'm going to cut this we're going to put it right just after the navigation okay space that here so now let's go to pages list as you can see we're being redirected to this home page here that says you don't have access to that page please log in right so create page likewise so now let's log in by using lamin and then we say my password i'm going to press enter now you can see we can access the pages list page okay we can create pages now and do all sorts of things that we want like um before right so that brings us to the end of this video and i thank you for watching i will see you soon in the next video cheers bye bye